and blessings. I'm going to be redoing um, the, my video for um, Yahuwah's redemptive story because I know the volume was messed up and it, it I kind of feel bad because it was the video was really cute because Roscoe ended up standing up in the, in the beginning of it but um, now that the volume is fixed I'm going to redo this for you guys. Um, I, I fixed it babe. Okay. That's not what is needed. Um, okay, so we were on. Oh, we're on part five, and it's um a wife for Yitzhak or Isaac, based on Genesis twenty four. Abraham is now old and has seen many many years. In the midst of grieving for his Asha or his wife, he plans for his family's future. Yahuwah has promised that my de descendants will outnumber the sands in the desert, which means Yitzhak must start his family. But Yitzhak still grieves for his mother. Every day he goes al alone into the wilderness to mourn for his mother. If only he had a an Asha or a wife to comfort him. Abraham calls his most trusted servant, Eliezer, before, before I die, I want to see Yitzhak happily married, but he must marry a a woman from my own people go to Nahor and bring back a, a wife or an Asha for, for Yitzhak. Abraham's servant gathers a long caravan. He leads it across the desert and finally reaches the city of Nahor where Abraham's relatives live. What a big city. How will I ever find the right Asha for the man who will be chief of our tribe someday? Abraham's servant reaches Nahor in the in the evening or the or the Lila. He rests by the well just outside the town and sees young women of the city coming to get water. Yahuwah, let this be the test. Whoever gives water to me and my camels will be Yitshak's bride. She's beautiful. Is she the one? Miss, could I please have a drink? I'll be glad to get you a drink, and I'll draw water for your camels, too. She is the one. Okay. A good book for kids, you know. Yeah. When the girl finishes watering the camels, Eliezer gives her a nose ring and gold bracelets. What is your name? Do you think there is room for me to stay in your father's house? These are beautiful. My name is Rebecca. We have plenty of room for you at our house. Just a minute. Rebecca runs to tell her family when she shows when she shows them the presents her brother Laban goes out to meet Abraham's servant. Come with me. My father has room for you and your caravan. Abraham's servant tells everyone who he is and explains that Yahuwah has chosen Rebekah to be the bride of, of Yitzhak, or Isaac, son and heir of Abraham, her great uncle. Take Rebekah to be the wife or Asha of my uncle's son. Do it just the way Yahuwah has said. Early the next morning, the caravan gets ready to return to Abraham's camp. Rebekah says goodbye to her family and the caravan begins its long journey. Sorry about that. Um, okay, here we are. Days later, the caravan nears Abraham's camp. Rebecca wonders, what will Yitzhak be like? Tall and strong like a chief's son? I wonder if he will love me. Who is the man coming to meet us? That's Isaac, or Yitzhak. He is handsome. Is this the woman I'm going to marry? When Yitchak sees Rebecca, he falls in love with her at once and takes her to his father's father for his blessing. They get married immediately, and the whole camp rejoices that Yahuwah continues to watch over Abraham's family. Birthright Stew, based on Genesis 25 through 26. After a long and happy life, Abraham finally joins his, his wife or Asha in death. Yitzhak leads Abraham's tribe to the burial cave of Mach, Machpelah, 
to place the body of, of its great chieftain beside his Ashok, Ser- Sarai, Sarai or Sarah. But Yitshak or Isaac, like his father, has gone a long time without having any children. Rebecca is barren. We've tried every remedy known to man. Nothing has worked. Now I must pray to Yahuwah and trust his promise. Yahuwah answers Yitshak's prayers, and Rebecca becomes pregnant, but her pregnancy seems unusual. When they inquire of the Adoni, he tells Rebecca that she is pregnant with twins. You will give birth to two nations. One will be stronger than the other, and the younger will rule the older. When Re- Rebecca gives birth, her first son is reddish and hairy. They name him Esau. Now, but clutching Esau's heel is Yaakov, who does not want to be left behind. As the boys grow up, Yitshak earns a reputation as a man who avoids conflict. But Yitshak fails to see the conflict growing between his own twin sons. Which one will be our ruler after Isaac or Yitshak? Esau is stronger, but Yaakov is m- more clever. Esau has the birthright because he is the oldest, but I'd be surprised if Yaakov doesn't do something tricky. If I were Yitshak, I'd pay more attention to the competition between those two boys. Let me work through the... this page. One more point, Roscoe. You got a ball. One Come day, on. when Esau returns with fresh food from hunting, Yitshak praises him. Esau is a mighty hunter. Yes, he's strong as an ox and dumb as one too, his brother said. Yaakov bides his time one morning during a hot spell. Esau sets out for a hunting trip. This is the chance Yaakov has been waiting for. Esau will find game at the water hole miles away from here. When he gets back from the long day's hunt, he'll be tired and hungry and I'll be ready for him. Towards sundown, Yaakov waits for his brother outside camp. Here he comes, and without any game, didn't he catch anything? Camp with its food is only a short distance away, but Esau is so hungry he can't wait. I'm starving. Give me some of the stew you're making. Will you trade your birthright for it? Well, that's a dumb question. It's a birthright. Tasty and filled with savory meat. I'll take the stew. Here's the stew. Swear that your birthright is mine. I promise the birthright is yours. I'm dying of hunger. Let me eat. Here, eat all you want. Esau's birthright is mine. Someday I will inherit a double share of my father's wealth. I will rule the tribe, not Esau. The Stolen Blessing, based on Genesis 27. You, okay. Isaac, Yitzchak or Isaac has grown old. His eyesight is failing. Now he decides it is time to give his older son the blessing that includes ruling the tribe. You called me, Father? Yes, Esau. I am old and tired. I don't know how soon I'll die. Bring me some choice venison and I will give you the blessing that seals your birthright. Rebecca hears what Yitshak says and runs through the camp. Find Yaakov. Tell him to come to my tent right away. Hurry. Listen, Yaakov, your father is getting ready to give Esau the blessing. You must get that blessing or the birthright Esau traded you means nothing. But what can I do? Go and tell your father that you are Esau. He can't see a thing anymore and he will bless you by mistake. But my skin is smooth and Esau is, is really hairy. Father will touch me and know I am not Esau. I've thought of everything. Here, put on Esau's fur robe. These skins on your arms and neck will make you feel like Esau. But what if... Oh, I forgot to show you guys a picture. Here you go. But what if do you want do you want the birthright or not? If you do, then do as I say. If the plan fails, I'll take the blame with your father. You're right, mother. Give me the food or take or take to give me the food to take to father. 
Father, I have brought you the meat you asked for. Eat and give me your blessing. How did you hunt the food so quickly? Um, Yahuwah helped me. Yes, the Adoni helps those who obey. Come near me so I can make sure you are my older son before I give the blessing. It's. I don't. Okay, and if I didn't show the picture, here it is, guys. Bella, you're making. Yeah, see, she's going. She's doing crazy stuff. It's strange. The sound. Yeah, the voice sounds it, like Jacob. Huh? But the hands are Esau's. Are you really Esau? This isn't for you. Yes, I am. Will he believe me? He does. Yahuwah gives you the richness of the of, of the arets or the earth. Let the people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be master over your brothers. Cursed be everyone who curses you and blessed be everyone who blesses you. No sooner has Yitshak given the blessing than Yehoko brushes out of his father's tent. Mother, the blessing is mine, but what will Esau do? No matter what Esau does, the blessing is yours. Not even your father can take it back now. But while Jacob and his mother are rejoicing, Esau returns. No, uh, it's going to be so expensive to take it out to the vet if she swallowed something. Esau prepares the meat and takes a large tray of it to his father. Father, eat the food I brought brought you and bless me. Uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm Esau, your firstborn son. You told me to bring you some venison so that you could give me the, your blessing. Then who did I just bless? I've been deceived. Father, bless me too. Please bless me too. I can't, I can't once I cannot, I can't once given. I cannot give the blessing to another. But Father, could you at least have another blessing for me? Only this, my son. By your sword shall you live and serve your brother, but one day you will break his yoke from your neck. Trembling with rage, Esau leaves his father's tent. I'll kill Jacob for this. Okay, guys, I apologize for um, the uh, sound problems earlier. I remade the video just so that you guys would be able to hear it better and you and that you guys would um, gain some knowledge. Um, I love you, children of Yahuwah. Baruch haba Hashem Yahuwah. Shalom.